Hello everyone, Triple S here and welcome to Sakura Swim Club. Now I'm also currently playing uh, Sakura Fantasy. So both a video of Sakura Fantasy and a video of Sakura Swim Club will be going out on the same day. And also, this game is pretty unique in the Sakura series in that the, in the girls in uh, this game have actual audible voices. Saying that though, uh, it's a Japanese dub with English subtitles. So what I'm thinking is, I am only going to read out the things that my character would be saying and you know thinking, and just let the girls say their bit and you guys will have to read what the girls are saying. So I'm sorry to all the people who prefer to listen to videos more than actually watch them. But it's the only way I can think to do it besides letting the girls speak and then me reading out the lines which would just take forever to do if I'm always constantly doing that. So, yeah, you'll be hearing a lot of me and then a lot of Japanese girls speaking. So, let's get into it. Start. Morning. Not my favourite time of the day. The morning is when you're not awake enough to do anything. Yet there's so many different things to be done at once. I have to shower, I have to get breakfast, I have to get ready for the day. I am not a fan of mornings, and no amount of complaining can change that. So the only thing to do is face the day. Bit by bit I drag myself out of bed. Bright, warm rays of light spill between my curtains and into my room. It's another beautiful sunlit day. It's also a long walk to my new school, so I can spend plenty of time in the sun while I'm here. A good morning world, not that I think mornings are good. As usual, there's no one to reply. It looks like this is going to be another quiet morning for me. If I had to take a guess, I've been at a different school each semester for practically all the school. At first it was due to my parents moving around so much, but now they keep sending me to different places in the, in the hopes that there's one that will spark the family's gift in me. They always talk about how maybe I'm just a bit slower than the rest of the family, or that they just haven't found the right place for me to flourish yet. I do not think that they can... Uh, yeah, I'd rather think that they can accept that their only son isn't going to be a prodigy like everyone else in the family. Not that I really blame them, my family has a long history of success. Whether I want it or not, I expect it to carry on that legacy. I look back at the clock, then feel my heart sink to my toes. I slept in a few minutes late. It's going to take me about 20 minutes to walk there. Hurry up or take my time. First day of school, I'm going to say hurry up, so I'd best hurry up. I don't want to think about the angry phone call I'd get from my parents if I were late on the first day. So here I am again, standing before yet another school that my parents have specifically chosen for me. The same entrance, the same gardens. This place is as boring as the rest of the schools I've seen. I can already feel that sinking feeling. This isn't the place that will make me flourish in the way my parents hope to. No, I shouldn't be so cynical yet. I might as well give this place a chance. If I don't give it a chance, then I'll never know what will happen. So, here it goes again. Step by step, so the beginning all over again. The mundane start which I always experience every time. For a moment, my body feels really heavy. It's a struggle to push myself to go through all this. All over again. Nothing thing I can do to escape that now though. It takes me a few minutes to find my classroom. It's always a nervous wait before I enter class. You would think after doing it so many times that it would be easier. I still don't know who's going to be waiting for me on the other side. Sure enough, I hear my teacher say those same words I always hear. Oh, well, some of the characters don't have voices, but it's mainly the girls have Japanese dubbed voices that other characters as well I'll do the speaking for. I'd like to introduce a new student today. He gestured to me, ushering me into the room. All of their eyes are focused on me. I always expect their judgement to be harsh. This is Cade, I'm going to call him Cade, if that's how I pronounce his name. Students, I trust you will treat him with respect. Take a deep breath, everything is fine. I'm Cade, pleased to meet you. I hope that we will all get along. None of the class seem to really care that I'm here though. They're probably all just as bored as I am. I know that feeling all too well. Anything you'd like to tell us about yourself? Uh, nothing really. It was probably not the response that the teacher was expecting. Well then, why don't we get straight into it? We already have a lot of work to do, so go to your seat. I think we'll put you there. He points to a seat in the back row. I know that I said that I would give this a chance, but I can't help but have that sinking feeling. 
as I settle into my seat, I find that a tiny sigh escapes my lips, and of course, the anime main character gets put in the back seat. Probably on the, uh, if we're looking at the board like this, he's probably on the left towards the window, so he can stare out the window and in a monologue in his thoughts and have, you know, dreams whilst looking at the clouds. Uh, tiny sigh escapes my lips. So, students, we will be studying. The first lesson goes exactly as expected, too. His words begin to bleed into one another. But all that remains is an incoherent mess. My mind can hardly register what he is saying. Listening to my teacher drone on and on about things I do not care about. I don't think I'm incapable, just that I don't care about this. My parents think uh, that some tough love is what needed to get me started. What I really need is a reason to care. I can pass with the bare minimum requirements. What difference does it really make? It takes what seems like forever for that bell to signal the end of the lesson. By the end of it, the only thing I can focus my eye eyes on is the clock, watching the hands ever so slowly move. That will be all for now, students. Please review the material when you have the chance to. This will be on your exam. I was about to get out to leave, my teacher steps in front of me. You were barely paying attention in class at all. I know it is only your first day, but you really should take this seriously. I know, I'll do better next time. Are you sure about that? I know that you're a troubled young man, jumping from school to school, barely passing any of your subjects, barely paying attention at all. Your parents have kept me well informed about your problems. Nice to know that they've made arrangements here too. I can't force you to learn, but please, you have a chance here to better yourself, just like everyone else. Being good at something can only be a good thing, can't it? Yes, so. He doesn't look convinced by my answer. Maybe you need someone else to push you. It's not a bad thing, sometimes we need someone else to motivate us. Why don't you join a club? There's plenty of them in this school, I'm sure there's one you would, which would suit you. Tennis, football, basketball, baseball, swim... Oh, never mind swimming. Uh, swimming? Hang on, what about swimming? They have a rather infamous reputation. You shouldn't go there. Infamous reputation? Anyway, I'm sure that you'll find something which will catch your interest. I will not talk, take any more of your time. He quickly leaves the room. What do you said about swimming? I have to admit, I'm curious. But first, I'll have to check out the other clubs. We'll see if there's something else I'd like to do here. Dot 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 dot. One nice thing about this school is the lack of rumours. I managed to quietly slip in this time, which is a relief. People always talked behind my back about what sort of person I was. They never seemed to understand either. I, w I was always compared to my parents. Practically everyone in the country knows their name at this point. Anyway, I think we should check out the clubs now. If I don't have something to do in this boring place, I'm going to go stir crazy. Might be a good place to make some new friends. Oh, right. What's the point of that? I don't know what's going to happen. Damn it. No. I need to stop thinking like that. I'm sure that things could turn out better here. As I idly muse to myself, I smack into something. The impact is enough to make me fall over. Dazed, I slowly look around me. I'm too dizzy, to p too dizzy to pick myself up yet. What did I run into? Hello. Stripes. I've seen an abundant amount of stripes. Blue and white stripes. As my vision clears, I finally realise what has happened. A black-haired girl with pale blue eyes stares back at me. Her miniskirt completely fails to hide her panties. Wait. This is the girl who was sitting next to me in class. Wow! That voice is loud. Um. Hang on a minute. Can I change that? I'm guessing it's sound volume? Put it quite low but not muted? How far can it go? Well, wait. Let's put it there. Jesus Christ, I was not expecting it to be that loud. S sorry! That's not affected the voice at all. I am so sorry, folks, that the voice is really loud. Wow. Uh, Shangri really scores me seemingly unaware of what's exposed. I think it would be a good idea to let her know. Uh, excuse me. Excuse She's not listening to me. I have to try again. That, that's not... That isn't what I was going to say. She's too intent on expressing the anger to notice the problem. But I can't give up. Look, 
Listen to me. You have a problem. No, that's not it. Her eyes slowly look down and she sees what the problem is. If it takes a while for me to carry on from when she stopped talking, it's because I'm making sure that she has stopped talking. It's kind of hard to tell because I don't know Japanese. I don't know what they're saying besides reading the, uh, the words. But, you know, you can read the words faster than, you know, when they speak. Uh, the problem is, an eruption of red spreads, a spreads across her face. She immediately slips her hands between her thighs, pulling her skirt down to hide her stripes. It does not really help, though. Yeah, yes. Oh no, why did I say that? The word seems to hit her like a sledgehammer. It was an accident. I didn't mean to see your panties. I think I'm just making her angrier. She picks herself up and runs down the hall. For a moment, I just sit there, slowly taking in what happened. Then I remember that I'm sprawled on the ground and quickly get to my feet. What a strange encounter. Wait, she was sitting next to me in class. This next lesson is going to be awkward. Da da da, da da da, da da da. So my lessons dragged on for the rest of the afternoon. The only thing I could be bothered doing is waiting for the bell to ring. It's only a matter of time. There's no sign of the girl I bumped into either. Now then, students, a word before you go. Do make sure to review today's material. This will be on your test this semester, so do not forget it. Shortly after he finishes speaking, the bell rings. Time to finally leave this place. Another long, boring and pointless first day. There's still some clubs I haven't had a look at yet. He's about to leave, he turns to me again. Kid, I just wanted to talk to you again. Yes, sir? How was your first day? Pretty much what I expected it to be. And what did you expect it to be? Do you really want to know? My response makes him frown. I see. He turns back towards his desk, gathering his things. Well then, did you check out the clubs? A few of them, none have really stood out to me yet. I'll keep looking, but I don't know if I'll find what I like. He readjusts his glasses awkwardly. Good, keep looking. I'm sure you'll find somewhere to spend your time. Another thing too. Even if you don't like any of them, please join when okay? His tone suggests that he's commanding me more than asking me. You really need to. What about the swimming club? He just shakes his head. It wouldn't be worth your time. Why wouldn't it be? I told you before, he has an infamous reputation among the students. He just shrugs. Well, you can if you wish to, but I do not know if it will be the club that suits you. Despite myself, I really want to know more about the swimming club. Where can I find the school's pool? It lets out a defeated weary sigh. Down the hall from this classroom, take a right, another right, then a left. I hope you find what you're looking for there. He packs his things and ha heads out the room. See you tomorrow then, kid. I hope that I will be able to help you. I know that he means well, but I don't like how he talks about the swimming club that way. Is it even appropriate for a teacher to comment on things like that? Did something happen with the swimming club? Is that why he's talking about it that way? All it does is make me want to uh, find out more about it. What is the truth behind this swimming club? I guess that's something I can investigate right now. Uh, dot, 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 dot. Here I am, standing before the entrance to the swimming pool. It took me way longer to find than I expected. The swimming club is supposedly meeting right now. After all the discouragement I've received, I feel like I need to know what the deal with this club is. The distinct smell of chlorine hits me as I pass through the doors. When was the last time I smelled that? I don't think I've been to a proper swimming pool in a very long time. So I'm fairly impressed, to say the least, this building is massive. A full length Olympic swimming pool spreads out before me. As I look around though, I notice there's no one else here. The only sound which echoes through the building is the gradual lapping of the water against the pool's edges. Funny, from what I gathered, the swimming club was supposed to be meeting today. So, where are they? Hello? Anyone here? Only silence in response. I do not think there's a single soul here. Maybe practice isn't on today? But it said that practice was on today. I don't know. There's no one in the swimming club, and obviously I can't join. It's... Hello? My own voice echoes back to me several times. It really is barren in here. 
Perhaps I should hang around for a bit. They might be getting changed or something, I don't know. I decided to wait there for a few minutes. There's little else for me to do other than watch the water lap against the pool's edge. Didn't I used to love swimming? I don't really remember. More importantly, why is there no one here? Even on a hot day like this, surely someone would be using the pool. Ah, well. Why is it abandoned? Uh, ask around about it. It's kind of weird. It's like, if I think about it to myself, I'll go outside and ask someone. Ask around about it. Maybe I should ask around about it. Perhaps one of the other clubs knows why there's no one here. Just when I'm about to leave, I hear a loud splash come from behind me. Whoa! Two girls emerge from the water. Hello. Wait, one of them is that black girl from before. And the other one sitting next to me. And the other one. Wait, what? And the other one sitting next to me in class. They're wearing swimsuits, but those swimsuits are practically shredded. The straps are torn too, meaning that you can't sleep on its own. Both of them are desperately trying to hold their swimsuits together. Not that it's helping, it's revealing plenty despite their efforts. Their cheeks are flushed as red as roses as they look down at, at, them, at themselves. These are the two terrors that my teacher told me about. もう、どうなってるのよ。both of them argue with each other angrily, failing to notice me standing there. As they do so, they seem to care less and less about holding their swimsuits together. More and more pale skin is revealed as every moment passes. I'm not sure what exactly I should do at the moment. As she says that, she looks around the room. Her pale blue eyes shift towards where I'm standing. Oh no, I think I've been found. What? When the black haired girl doesn't respond, she looks towards where I'm standing as well. She goes silent too when she notices my presence. Both of them start to furiously blush at the si as the situation dawns on them. A few awkward moments pass before they say anything. They try even harder to cover themselves. It's not really helping though. If anything, their panic is causing their swimsuits to fall apart even quicker. It's now a desperate battle between them and their clothing. And they're losing really badly. Seems nothing they can do to stop it. <laughs> they both stare at me indignantly. The white haired girl's indignant look quickly turns into panic though. <laughs> I think I see something completely divided in half before she can finish speaking. Her face goes redder than the hot coals of a furnace. For a moment she focuses her attention away from me to deal with this new problem. <sighs> Another sound of tearing material. Her face goes bright red too. <laughs> she looks down in the spare earth swimsuit. <laughs> Despite their own problems, they still look back at me. I'm surprised that they're still able to hold their swimsuits together at all. It would be better to listen to them, I think. I saw them back out of the building, their eyes fixed on me the entire time. Sometime later, the pair returned from the changing rooms. Oops. I decided to wait outside for them. Their faces are still red. The face turns grim as she looks closer at me. She must have not recognized me while she was flustered before. She can't bring herself to finish saying it. Yet before she was shouting it out shamelessly. Apologize, can we pretend that didn't happen? Oh, can we pretend that didn't happen? Can we pretend that didn't happen? Damn it. Damn it. 
しかも1日に2回も I accidentally knocked my microphone then cable I hope it didn't mess anything up uh... そうねあんなことが起こったまさにその瞬間に入ってきたのは不幸だったわねさっき見たことは誰にも言わないことっていうのは言うまでもないわよね The white haired girl seems rather cool about the whole situation now it's over. もしこのことは。廊下でのことも。誰かに言ったら。The black haired one on the other hand looks really mad. d a h Facebook. Sorry, that might keep popping up. Her gaze is practically burning a hole through me. Don't worry about it. I won't tell anyone. Dano Moon, ne? Ah, Facebook! I thought I turned Facebook off. I closed my. God damn it. No! Anata, I'm not a good person. That's good. Kaede. Kaede. I'm called Kaede. Something like that. I'm gonna call him Cade though. Yeah, and you two are. Why are you so lazy? Hiromi! Hiromi? So that's her name. Kare wa dare ni mo iwa nai te itta wa. Kare wa sono kotoba o mamaru to mou wa yo. Mieko. Mieko. Nanda, sona koto wakaru no yo. Really, I won't tell anyone. It would be nasty to do something like that. Mada wa tashi ga anta o shinjita nan te omou nai de yo ne. Hiromi ignores her friend's outbursts. Sore de? Koko de nani o shiteiru no? I was checking out the clubs. It's my first day after all. Ah, ra? Ja, koko o eranda no wa seikai da to omou wa. Chotto, konna yatsu wa suiebu ni deru tsumori? Hiromi looks around her at the vast empty building around her. There's not anyone else around. There, not anyone else around. Speak. Oh, so ne. Kiki nasai, anta. いろいろ問題を起こしてくれたから、水泳部に入りなさい。Well, this is a strange turn of events. First she was mad at me, now she's asking me to join her club. 水泳部には今、新入部員が本当に必要なの。もしこのまま誰も入部しなかったら、水泳部は廃部になるわ。Both of them gaze at me. The weight of their stare is heavy. I do not think that I can say no. If I do, could I ask something? Eh, dozo. Both of them seem to freeze up and dissipate in something. I hear from someone that you aren't welcoming of new members. So why are you inviting me so readily? Anna Uasa, Mrs. De Chodai. A deep disappointed frown forms on her face. Mosi Sorega Honto Nara. Somo somo anata o kayu nanka shinaiwa. Desho? Mochiro, shinjiriwa yo ne? でも、周りのみんなが言っていることが、全部真実だなんて思っちゃダメよ。No wonder they have an infamous reputation. But still, I can't just leave them like this. That's all I want to know. Don't worry about it, I'll join. It's not that I'm doing this out of guilt or obligation, though. All the other clubs. Let's just say that something feels exciting about this one. The fact that so something has finally caught my interest is nothing short of significant. Both of them look really happy when I say that. Zui ni! Shinyu buin! Kaktoku ne! They're overjoyed at the moment. I can't really join in as I don't know the full significance of it. Sore demo, koitsu jana kereba ike na katta nante. She's not going to let that go, I'm guessing. I'm just warning you, I haven't been swimming in years. Daijoubu yo! Watashi tachi futari de shigoi te ageru. She seems fairly confident about that, but Mi Mieko doesn't really seem to like it. I've completely forgotten how to pronounce her name. Mie Mieko? What? 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 Is Mieko. Kare ni mise te agetara? 
でもあんたほどじゃないわよ。I quickly glanced at my watch and realized I was getting late. Sorry to cut you off, but I really need to get home. Ah, so no, no, no. Wakata, eh? Ja, ja, mata sta te cotone. E? She looks at me with hopeful eyes. Of course she will. But seriously, I need to get home now. Ja, mata sta i maso. Eh, mata sta ne. She doesn't sound very confident about that. Really? I promise that I will. I'm sitting between you after all. So, yo. I s t a k o n a k a t a r a o k o r u k a r a ne? d a k a r a h o k a g o k i t e c h o d a i ne? I s t a Tomorrow after school. Got it. Okay. j a s o you got it. Until next time. That was a lot different to what I was expecting. This is why you need to have a look at things for yourself. Other people can easily mislead you. And I am going to finish this episode off here. The first episode, I ran a bit longer than I was planning on, but、uh, I think this. I'm glad I, I did keep going because it's really set up the whole premise of the game and it's really cemented the whole them speaking Japanese and then me reading out my stuff and people who don't have voices stuff. I think it's really done that. So, which one of these is buttons? Save. Slot one. There we go. Right. So, thank you all for watching the first episode of Sakura Swim Club. And I apologize again for the、uh, voices being quite loud and that、I'm, I seem unable to be able to change the sound of the voices, unless it's the ambient volume. But I would have thought, I would have thought that'd be kind of weird. But I don't know. And I also apologize if the Facebook message pictures were showing up in the bottom right corner.、Uh, just ignore all that. So thank you for watching. And I shall see you all next time for some more Sakura Swim Club. And be sure to check out、uh, my other playthroughs of the Sakura games Sakura Spirits, Sakura Angels, and Sakura Fantasy. Thank you for watching. See you all next time. Good bye. No! Ah! Foxy! I don't know if you want to see her again. <laughs> again, just kidding. I get a photo with you. You decided to photograph my kids, and two for me, of course. Ah! I can't believe I'm standing this close to Vincy! Ah!